It's been another week, so this is another renovation progress update video. Um, this week, the real progress is that the insulation was finished and more of the HVAC work got done. So what we'll do first is we'll take a look at some of the insulation starting down here at the entryway for the ceiling near the pantry. Then we'll make our way up through the house and then we'll talk uh, HVAC. And we'll start up in the attic for that and then we'll go down to the basement and see what's going on down there. So let's take a look around. Standing here in the entryway, here we see that the ceiling is now all insulated with the spray foam. And as we look, this is above the doorway. So that cavity there used to be open, extending down beyond the porch. So that has now been filled in with insulation there. And the whole roof has been um, spray foamed with insulation here. And if we step on into the pantry, we see the same thing. So we've got insulation here on the end wall and the entire ceiling has been spray foamed. So this is all now tight and insulated here more than it has ever been in the past. So pretty neat. We're now upstairs. This is the laundry space attached to the master bedroom. The doorway there goes into the attic space above the kitchen. And so there's no lighting out here right now, but as you can see, the entire roof has been covered with the spray foam and the end gable wall there at the back end has also been insulated with this spray foam insulation. So that also will be a lot tighter than it ever has been in the past with respect to climate control. I've mentioned in a previous video that the bathroom windows are getting replaced because code requires a tempered window in the bathrooms. But you can see that um, below as well as above this window in the upstairs bathroom, they also put in spray foam insulation to tighten that up. So that's now probably the best insulated wall in the entire house. As we head up on to, into the attic now, this space is very, very different. And even just looking up the stairs, the way that the light reflects off of the insulation totally changes uh, how bright it is up here even with the sunlight. So as I kind of spin around here, you can see everything is now insulated with the spray foam all the way around. Um, so this space will now also be a lot tighter and better climate control than it's ever been. You can see um, duct work. And so it's now been separated into zones. So that's the master uh, bedroom and that zone over there toward that end. And then everything else coming this way is a zone for the rest of the upstairs. So two zones up here for heating and cooling. And the unit, the furnace and everything, is right here, um, laying pretty much above where the bathroom is. This is a uh, highly efficient propane furnace, so it just requires a um, Schedule 40 pipe for venting. So this should be a, a pretty nice setup in the end. So having seen up here, we'll now make our way downstairs. I'll, I'll show you some of where HVAC is going in um, downstairs. I'll show you some uh, where the ducts are coming in, the returns, and then we'll make our way to the basement. I'm now in the main hallway upstairs, and here is the primary return to the upstairs HVAC system. Now, this is located such that it's next to the door. This door here actually goes downstairs. This is the back stairwell. And then directly behind where I am here is the main stairwell to the upstairs. So this return is actually positioned quite well to capture warm air that's rising up either stairwell and then circulate it through the heating system. So if we have the wood stove burning this winter, I think cracking open this door here and letting heat rise from downstairs 
will actually facilitate heat getting up here and then being circulated uh, by this system very, very readily. I've now moved downstairs and I'm standing right next to the stairwell here and this sort of cardboard template on the wall is where the uh, cold air return for the HVAC system downstairs is going to be located. So by putting it here, they're able to get it in the wall instead of the floor, which will help it stay a little bit cleaner and collect less dust. And it also allows them to take advantage of the space under the stairs here. So that closet right there actually extends all the way back. There are some shelving and um, a hanging bar in there, but there's actually plenty of room to put a return back here without sacrificing much of that closet space at all. So that's gonna be where that's going to go. I've now made my way down into the basement and you can see the new furnace here. Um, instead of being an upright unit standing on the floor, it's actually hanging from the ceiling. Um, this down here, this is a uh, humidifier that's attached to it for um, the winter time. And then you've got the furnace there with um, some of the duct work already installed, but there's um, quite a bit more to do. You can see this is just ending and the holes are not all there to put things up through the floor into the registers yet. Uh, but this is now all in place. The old steam furnace used to sit right there. They removed that, it's now sitting here. And this unit, even though it's located in the same geographic location, it actually does not need the chimney for venting. This will vent um, through a Schedule 40 pipe as well so that we can recover that flue in the chimney and actually use it for the wood stove. So that wraps up the renovation update for this week. As we roll into the upcoming week, drywall is supposed to begin, so the finished look is really gonna start to take shape in here um, over the next week or so. So they should be installing trim by the end of the month, and then after that, we'll be moving into the finishing stuff like the painting and the flooring and all of that. So things are really progressing and taking shape.